Hey, hey Aquarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your July 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Aquarius, you have romance and finances showing up here for you. So some of you, you may be connecting to new love. You could currently be married. We'll look into relationships here in your reading as well. But it does look like some of you have gone through some shadows when it comes to love or when it comes to finances even. We have that card at the bottom of the deck. So you've gone through some deep lessons some of you major healing needed to take place between you and another there may have been post-traumatic stress that you've gone through this could be buried emotions trauma addictions but the good thing is you are evolving and ascending a lot of you already have done this because you also have awakening this is about you reclaiming your power so if you felt like you were not where you wanted to be or if it just felt like you were stuck in a revolving door you kept going round and round with some sort of dynamic I'm getting patterns here for you. Some of you may have been stuck in the past. It could have been due to third party. I just have to bring that up. Some of you were in some sort of third party dynamic in a love situation, even in a family dynamic where you may have taken on some sort of drama is what I'm picking up on, or you were part of something. It's like monkey in the middle is what I'm getting here. And it didn't feel fair but you're rising above that now. If this is career for you, if you were part of, you know, a team where someone was taking sides, I feel like you're rising above. Uh, it, it almost feels like child's play here. Something feels very uh, immature or there was a need for growth. There was a need, yeah, for temperance. Someone's emotional state may have been that of, you know, a, a young young child someone may have gone through a lot of emotional childhood wounding and i feel like tempers or you know feelings may have really got jargled up but i also see with the temperance card this has been a situation that you've learned over time and may have even learned repetitively through new people or new lessons if you didn't learn the first time which a lot of us don't right we don't learn the first time because we are creatures of habit and sometimes we are also creatures of comfort and even though it's not always comfortable in a dynamic once we are conditioned to it it can become our default or our habitual mode or zone that we that we navigate life with right and some of you are breaking out of patterns addictions traumas relationships that are based in toxicity or unhealthy dynamics bottom of the deck we have king of pentacles this may have to do with your stability your finances your career your home life we also have the queen of pentacles with romance okay there's something going on here for you this month a lot of you are celebrating some sort of phase of your life that you've gone through and it's been difficult but you're rising above this is a counterpart this is a divine connection that builds stability here in the physical world if you're not in a relationship currently which i haven't even pulled all the cards yet we'll take a look but a lot of you this could be uh, a next level some sort of peak in your relationships for others of you there could be major choices or decisions made around a dynamic i also see marriage could be significant some of you are planning marriage you could be getting engaged you could be buying a home together moving in together this is really quite exciting uh, i also have here moderation moderation and balance some of you have overcome addictions 
uh, with each other possibly, or you're meeting someone who is not like the people that you've been with in the past, okay? If this is financial, which again, we'll clarify each area, but I also feel for finances, something seems to be improving in a significant way for you after some period of loss or you've had to really save. I feel like you're, you're able to feel a sense of fulfillment and a sense of success. And there's also some sort of enlightenment here showing up for you. Enlightenment is on the awakening card. You are... You are reclaiming your truth, reclaiming your power. There is some form of conversation that is needed, that is required, that you will be having with another person this month here, Aquarius. You have agape as your archetype. So let's dive into your reading. This is significant. We also have at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. So, of course, this is going to be a general monthly reading for July, but I can't help but notice all of the love in your reading here. So there could be a major heart chakra activation that's occurring. Ace of Cups is a new love connection. This could be a love for oneself. You're being activated in a, a very powerful, magical way as well. And it could even be a friendship that turns into something more because I have the three of pentacles here and the seven of pentacles wanting to put energy and effort into a situation to grow and to evolve and to open your heart up after a time of, you know, healing and being maybe alone. Now, for some of you, the romance card here is strong bonds that turn into more. It could be the bonds that you've entered into agreement with in the past. Perhaps you are completing up a cycle and you could be divorcing. You could be going in a new direction. Take it as it resonates, but there is a matter of the heart that is stepping into a new timeline is what I get for you. I'm also getting something with the ears as my ears just felt like they were uh, they were popping or they were blocked, almost like swimmers when you go under the water and you get water in the ear. So someone could be having a difficult time either listening, listening to understand instead of listening to respond. This could be you feel at times like someone is not listening to you. You could have a hard time connecting with someone or communicating, but there is still work I feel that needs to be done as you wrap up some sort of a cycle, but I see the next stage being very, very significant, but also brings a lot of happiness, whatever this next stage is for you. But it does require you to look something head on, right? Face to face. This can also be trust issues. For some of you, again, third party, three of cups in reverse, someone could like to party. They may go to extremes. There may be an excessiveness of, you know, substances or uh, drugs or something of that nature. Because we have the three of cups in reverse and the temperance, someone could overdo it and really uh, make decisions that they wouldn't normally make under some sort of influence. Okay. I also see that if there was a love triangle, that's being addressed or that is coming to an end, okay? I do see that coming in here for you. Now, we also have awakening as one of your key themes this month, and this is about rising above, total transformation. We have the butterfly showing up, Aquarius, and I feel like there is a growth. There is something about letting it go uh, or, you know, letting something go. If it's meant for you, it'll come back, and I feel like you're not letting anyone or anything clip your wings. You're not letting it hold you back. And I just read something the other day about how butterflies, they don't fly in the rain, right? They, they ride it out because it's damaging to their wings. And I feel like you've worked on your healing. So you may have 
been hidden, hiding in a way, or you may have been going within so you didn't damage yourself more, whatever that may mean for you. So perhaps it means that you went through a situation and instead of jumping into the next situation, you didn't want to bring that with you. You don't want to damage what could be. So you worked on yourself, even if that meant you being in isolation or hermiting your energy for quite some time. I also see that for some of you, this buried emotion has come up for you to really take a look at because you also have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups can be the card of depression. It can be a lacking inspiration, lacking love. It can be pessimistic about, you know, moving forward in matters of the heart. And I feel like there is a brand new opportunity. And you see here on this Eight of Cups that this guy, he's almost willing one of those cups to, to be his Ace of Cups, right? However... What he doesn't see is that this page right behind him, standing in the doorway, which doorways represent portals. They represent new opportunities. He's standing in the doorway, but he can't see the guy at the table because his hand, you know, is covering his head. And he's so focused on these three cups where there's nothing left in them that he's not seeing that what's over here, what's below the surface, which literally what's below the deck is this Ace of Cups. So there is something of the past that you are looking at that could at times be holding you back from love. It could be that healing needs to take place, more healing or forgiveness. This can also be about inspiration. It can be self-absorbed energy. It can also be needing to reach out, needing to ask for help. You know, how do I overcome this? How do I focus on staying present? Because fours are about stability. And right now, you're just trying to find emotional stability in your life. And if this is a career, I feel for some of you, you're, you're feeling, you're not feeling fulfilled because maybe you don't feel like there's opportunities here that are being presented. But I feel because the world card is showing up here, you are coming to a major ending of a cycle where you're going to graduate in a sense, graduate from this, this lesson, this human experience, and you're going to move on because the temperance is here. And the temperance says this has been a long time coming, but this is the card of patience. It's the card of blending energies and self-control, balance. And we see that happening here with this king and queen of pentacles. Okay, so there is some sort of balance being restored, uh, but I feel like it requires you to really look deep within your soul, deep within maybe your woundings, your uh, maybe your processing center, your childhood, some deep scars that may you may have thought have been hidden, or you may have thought that they were scars, right? I don't need to deal with them, but I feel like Somewhere along the line, it got ripped back open. And maybe you didn't process it fully like you thought you did. And I feel also some of you could be dreaming of someone of the past. Maybe they haven't been in your life for quite some time. Or maybe they've been thinking about you and you're wondering, why the heck am I still thinking about, about this person? Now, it doesn't mean that you're meant to be together. It doesn't mean that you should call them or reach out to them. I feel like there is a strong spiritual bond that maybe you had with someone, but it could have been karmic. And the fact that you're thinking about them or maybe they're thinking about you, spirit is reminding you it doesn't mean that you have to go back to that place, right? It's it's there because you had a soul contract with this person and energy works that way sometimes where, you know, there is some sort of energetic connection, but it doesn't mean that you're supposed to be together in the physical. Now, because we have finances at the bottom of the deck, some of you are really working on your finances, your home, your stability, creating a safe space, uh, an honorable space. I'm getting honorable. Why is that coming in? Someone may have disrespected your home or your rules goodness. I mean, this could be 
family members coming in, you offering them a place to stay for a couple days and they stay a couple months, right? This could be, you know, hosting an event at your place and someone over drinks and gets rowdy and breaks a bunch of stuff, right? I feel like there's something about crossing a boundary. Um, I'm also getting here there's a new income source, a new job, a new investment, something that grows over time and it could put you in a really abundant spot financially, okay? This is something new here possibly or it could even be a payout because you do have the world and you have the payout. Maybe it's a payout in some sort of settlement. This could be a payout uh, for a resignation, this can be a payout for alimony, child support, maybe some sort of unfair act. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's uh, maybe a legal situation here. This is also, I'm getting some of you maybe thinking about switching accounts, whatever that may be, switching accounts, maybe retirement or money. This could be, you know, IRA, maybe it's money market, CDs. You may be looking at switching something up here or working with a new accountant is what I'm getting. Some of you may be in the career of finances. You also have animal and family. Okay, some of you have pets at home, possibly a spotted pet, maybe a, like a moo moo looking one. I also heard here Patches. Someone could have Patches or maybe that's the dog's name. I'm also seeing a bearded dragon or some sort of lizard, some sort of, um, maybe it's like a, a gecko or a chameleon. Someone's uh, child could have this pet. This is ancestral. You're wanting to heal and leave a legacy for your family. I'm getting strong Ten of Pentacles vibe from all of this below the surface. So you're making some choices and decisions, Aquarius, that have to do with your long-term growth and stability. All right, you have dress to impress. Some of you are going out on a date. You could be dressing up for an important event or uh, it could be a wedding. Yep, some of you could even meet someone at an engagement or at a wedding here. This could be a interview, an interview here. We have responsibilities showing up. We all have them, but I also feel like it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money, to heal your shadow, okay? And it's someone else's responsibility to heal themselves, not yours. So Aquarius, if you feel the need to heal someone else, you have to remember that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, right? It's got to, you know, the energy, you have to remember that this, even if this person is family or if they're a lover or whoever they are, they also have their own soul's journey. And sometimes we can act as a block or uh, we can put up a little bit of a wall when it comes to their healing because we're really trying so hard to fix them or to, you know, change the course of their destiny. But ultimately we get caught up in the way and it's a, a disservice to both of you. And so there's something here about letting other people live and lead their path without uh, interruption in some way, shape or form. And also for you to take your responsibilities to your own healing. And I feel like that could be part of this graduation, part of this completion. Maybe you've already done that. I also see here that you have a lot on your plate. Aquarius, you may be working, you may be you know, moving or uh, doing, your, doing your own projects around the house, taking care of kids, cooking dinner. I feel like there is a lot here that you're doing at this time, but I also see that there's gonna be some sort of money coming in, could be through cryptocurrency. I'm getting market research. Some of you Aquarians are looking into stocks. That's kind of what I was getting earlier is moving some accounts around or looking into something financially. We have budget, we have receipts, and we have pay bills. So there's definitely an emphasis here on numbers. Numbers, money, uh, adding something up. Do we have enough? Can we pay for that? Should we move this around? So I feel like you are going to be budgeting. You're gonna be within receipts or collecting receipts of some sort, and you're gonna have enough to pay some bills and some. All right, four of cups. 
Four of Cups is needing to focus on what's right in front of you. At the same time, he is focused on what's right in front of him. But at the same time, I, I'm just getting this strong energy here for you, Aquarius, of you think it's right in front of you, but it's it's based in the past, right? It's almost like it's blocking you from moving forward. So it could be seeing what's right in front of you and seeing what you like, what you don't like, and taking action to change it. That's what I see showing up because Three of Cups says you're feeling left out. You're feeling, instead of celebrating some sort of happiness or win, you feel like you are on the outside looking in. We have the world. You've wrapped up a cycle. There's a new cup being offered to you. I see that at the bottom of the deck here. When the world shows up, this is, you know, a completion. But you still feel st set back. You feel stuck or you feel like there's a lack of closure here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. These two could be together. These two could be, I mean, maybe one hasn't manifested in the physical earthly realm. Could be this King of Pentacles. He was the one, I believe, bottom of the deck. He's coming in, though, if you're looking. Female or male, it doesn't matter. But I also feel like stability has been an issue for you. And you see that he's holding up the cake. And it's also the energy of, like, having your cake and eating it, too. And, and look at that. You actually see both of these cards coming together. Look at that. You can't make that up. I've never noticed that before. But it's the same tree, you guys. It's the same tree that has the grapevines. Both of those trees coming together. And it's almost like the completion. Some sort of missing piece is coming together in the physical world. And marriage could be involved. Legacy could be involved. This has to do with financial security, wealth, building upon, you know, some strong, solid foundations, some traditions. This can be a very traditional energy as well, or creating new traditions for yourself from here on out. You've been waiting for this for a long time. For some of you, you are buying maybe a dream home or you're finally landing that job or you finally meet that person who's your forever person. I mean, this is a really powerful energy and temperance is showing up here saying that you've been patient, but there's someone here. And like I said, it could be a friend. It could be someone that, you know, you didn't even realize that maybe you had feelings for. Or perhaps you did, but you weren't sure if they saw you. I feel like you could be having a conversation, coming face to face with maybe your worst fears. Maybe you never wanted to say anything to a friend because you didn't want to ruin the friendship. But bottom of the deck with that Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles, I feel like teamwork is important. Collaborating is important. You could meet someone new by... You know, putting yourself out there, being in some sort of community or I'm getting darts. Someone may play darts here is what I just seen. Yeah, I feel like some of you are questioning, do I want to move forward in this dynamic? And others of you are questioning, when am I going to find that person? It's within one month. There's going to be decisions that are made within one month. And so I feel like July into August will be very significant for you with that Ace of Cups. This love offer is coming in within one month because we also have the Page of Cups, which is the, the love offer. And then we have the Ace of Swords. So look at all this Ace energy coming out here. There is the Ace of Truth. There's that important conversation or connection that you will be having. And there is the love offer. So I really like this for you, Aquarius. Let's take a look at wealth, money, career, abundance, something may have come to an end. It may That may have been part of the shadow period for you. Maybe there was bad investments. Maybe there was some sort of physical loss. Um, maybe some of you work as a funeral director or you work with the elderly or you took care of a loved one. Something may have ended here. Uh, an office job, some of you have financial challenges or you had to dig into savings. But there is the pendulum 
showing up. This is fluctuation. This is strategizing. It can be a little bit of indecision, but it's also saying that this is temporary. Seasonal work, making choices that are going to affect your long term, but also job changes that have either already occurred or they're about to occur because what we have is the tree. And this is my 10 of pentacles, Aquarius. This is financial growth. This is coming to fruition. It's abundance. It can be family business. Yeah, some of you may have a business with a spouse, business with, you know, family in some way or whatever it is that you do. It could help families. It could be an outdoor job. Some of you, this is maybe I'm getting like tractors and vehicles. So something with maybe construction or farming. Okay, maybe farming. Uh, this could be a traditional role that maybe has been in the family for quite some time. Maybe your mother was a nurse and you're a nurse or grandfather was a teacher and you're a teacher. There's something here about keeping it in the family, but at the same time, you see the one flower that's kind of broke apart from the tree here. So maybe some of you have broke apart of something that you were told you had to do, because again, this can be traditional, but I feel like there is financial growth here and you're gonna reap the rewards of all your hard work that you put into something, even though it's been difficult at times. All right, Aquarius, I feel Capricorn energy here as well, even though, I mean, even though I don't see Capricorn, I see Sagittarius. Uh, I mean, the world sometimes can be a little bit of Capricorn and Aquarius, but I feel some of you could be on that cusp or Capricorn season is significant for you. December, January, that may have been when something occurred. When it comes to love, you're definitely, for those of you that are single, you're calling in a soulmate here, okay? Or you are with a soulmate. It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, some of you, this is a karmic soulmate that you've ended a cycle with, so you can move on to uh, either a twin flame or into a soulmate that is healthy, right? Healthy, but you had to go through something difficult or toxic in order for you to really learn some valuable, you know, lessons about who you are, about your self-love, about reconditioning your beliefs. Because you have the religious factors. It says your love life is influenced by religious upbringing or your spiritual path. So this is Hierophant energy. It's based on conditions that we were programmed to believe in. And part of going through some sort of shadow period with a lover, with a family member, with a karmic, with anyone who really challenged you or challenged your, your self, your growth in some way, I feel like it was for you to break out of some old patterns, old cycles. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying in this moment fully. That's the four of cups, right? Being present. And even though he is focused on what's right in front of him, what you focus on grows. So if he's focused on these cups that he can't help but see because that's all that his vision entails, right? Yeah, that's what you know he's going to manifest more of is loss. Are you focusing on the loss or are you focusing on the gain? And I see that you are calling in true love if you don't have it already. This is the romance of a lifetime. I'm not going to get all woo woo on you here, but I am telling you Aquarius, if you are about to meet someone or if you are in a connection that you feel is strong and you're about to marry or you are currently married and you don't have any interest of leaving this person, this could be your forever person. Uh, a romance of a lifetime. You're with this person through the end of time here on earth, which sometimes is rare, right? Uh, I think the percentage of that is probably 50-50 or lower even, but you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully and embracing who you are together. I feel like there's a cherry on the top type of energy because you've been working on yourself. And if there's someone new coming in, it's like they compliment you and they help you grow and evolve. You help each other. It's not one-sided, right? This is that perfect puzzle piece that comes into the mix. 
Let's see, what else do we have here? Aquarius, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it's incomplete. Today is soul action. Choose one self-care action to do today. This is important as well because some of you are face to face with a situation that is coming to an end and spirit is reminding you that the world is your oyster. If a relationship has come to an end, if you're going through some sort of ending or difficulty because of third party and because of addictions or because of, you know, something difficult, toxic or unhealthy, and it's been a long time coming. Trust in the magic of new beginnings. That's been a theme for a lot of signs lately where the end, it may feel like doom and gloom, like the world is over, but you have this opportunity to rebuild and grow and, you know, really thrive with partnerships and connections that can go to the end, go all the way. And some of you, I feel I'm getting broken dreams, like some sort of dream was broke. Maybe you thought you were gonna be with someone for a while, and maybe you are getting to that point where you're focusing on you at this time. Uh, set stronger boundaries, meditate and listen to your heart, speak to yourself with compassion, focus on your strengths, say no to something that isn't a soul yes. Say yes to something you're afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it and write down three things you're grateful for. So remember that Ace of Cups, that can really help you get into this energy of self-love and compassion and focus on what you do have right in front of you, which is you, right? Are you communicating your needs? That's that Ace of Swords. Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? Is this in your love life? Is this in your family dynamics? Is this in your career? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you're fearing is not true? If you have something to say, it's important to say it. If you have emotions and feelings that you know, you've kept suppressed or hidden out of rejection, it's time for you to say it because I feel that the energy of being in the unknown without speaking up or without fully reaching some sort of peak is more detrimental than if you just go for it. It says, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes, enough, right? Right, we just seen that. Based on my desires, Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do you, what do you need to do in order to feel safe enough to express your needs? Yeah, that's what I feel here. And some of you, because you may have grown up in a situation where you weren't fully able to express yourself or you had an absent parent or emotionally distant parent, someone who didn't listen to you because I still have that, that ear energy coming in. The right ear really feels like there's some sort of blockage. Right side of the body can be masculine. This may have to do with, you know, listening to uh, a masculine saying something to a masculine or not being heard by a masculine in your life. Yeah, and needing to bring balance in, even if it's difficult. All right, we have here agape. Agape is your archetype. Let's see what agape means for you. Okay, I feel for some of you as well, you may have gone through or stayed in a situation where there was a lot of drama, I'm getting from other sides of the family, whatever that may mean. So if you married into something, there could have been some sort of drama. I mean, all families have some sort of drama to an extent, but I feel like other people could have meddled in your dynamic and it did cause some, uh, a lot of stress possibly. All right, I'm just gonna find the agape card here, one moment. All right, so agape, this is devotion. This is unconditional love. What if instead of putting yourself at the center of your spiritual practice, you put God, goddess, or nature at the center? How would this change your approach? 
Such is the energy of agape. It is alive when we are in awe and wonder, our breath taken away by the sacred force that surrounds us and asks for nothing in return. This card can indicate a spiritual initiation that stretches your capacity to love and serve. You sense the earthly as the heavenly and vice versa. Such an initiatory moment can appear in any form and, like a healing balm to the modern soul, its effects last a lifetime. The agape card may also suggest you reassess what you worship every day, consciously or unconsciously. What are you elevating? Where does the sacred ladder you climb ultimately lead to? When this is showing up in the light, it's service, it's reverence, it's honor, it's joy. When it's showing up in the dark, it's spiritual bypassing, it's righteousness. Agape can also be felt as an overwhelming love of family, partner, community. Recognize it by a deep swell of gratitude. The Greek word agape informs the English words agape. To have the mouth agape is to be awestruck by something or breathtakingly delight. We are made humble once again. Okay. Or made humble here. If you want to go deeper, children's choirs from around the world. So this is so interesting for you, Aquarius, because not only do you have romance here, you have that divine counterpart. You have the Ace of Cups. Remember what I said about a lot of love here. And right now, it may not feel like you are, you know, broke open to this unconditional love, right? It may feel like you're in that dark side of spiritual bypassing or righteousness, but that's shifting here for you. This is honor, reverence, joy, service. This is devotion and unconditional love. That's what I see showing up here for you, right? And it's really about taking a look at what what are you putting yourself, what, what is your spiritual practice, right? Is it you that you put yourself at the center? And spirit is saying, put God, goddess, nature, universe, whatever you call your higher power, because how would this change, right? That's the energy of agape. And I also feel like there is a strong, overwhelming sense of love for, you know, family or for a partnership for someone else. That's coming in and also self-love too, right? But self-love through trusting and knowing that you are a spiritual soul, right? Having this human experience and focusing on those actions, self-care action steps that we talked about here. This is coming to a place in your life. If you felt in the shadow for quite some time, I feel like that light side is coming in where you're going to feel more love than you felt in quite some time. That is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.